Welcome. We have a new version of Obsidian Out uh, 0.6.3. We're going to take a look at what it has done for us so far. Um, one thing it's done is the graph view has got some love, it says right there. So let's check out the graph view, look at a few new things. I'll actually start with a bug, which I've already alerted them to, and they say they're going to fix it. So if I go up to Study While the World Spins, click on it. I said it's not embedded in anything, like it's not linked to anything, but I happen to know that it is in the still misses the key notes via an embed. So currently uh, embeds, so with the exclamation point at the beginning, are going to result in not linking, but they already said they're fixing it in chat like right now, and I submitted to the forum. So that should be updated in 064. Uh, next up, oh, we went back to this. Oh, I know why, because it's synced vaults. We're good. I know why we went back. Um, nerdy reasons that you don't care about. Uh, but let's go and I'll delete this. So that's a custom theme. It's the 80s theme. I'm going to show you how to install a theme in a second. If I want to revert, get out of that theme, I can just delete. Now we're out of that theme. Uh, what's up next? Let's kill this and we can go open. Let's go 0663. Oh, uh, control or command click on a node in the graph opens that note in a new pane. So that's interesting. Let's try that. It doesn't really matter. I actually don't love the whole Rudar stuff. Um, so let's grab David Epstein. I'm going to hit command click because I'm on Mac and I have David Epstein in a new pane. He's an author. Other things you can do now is you can zoom. I'm scrolling with the scroll wheel. That's actually how I figured out I had busted nodes, right? Like disturbed and deceived by the surface over there. Uh, a few other things like that, right? I had noticed that uh, these obsidian, these like these are actually in things. They're just not in there right now. Uh, they're not linked right now because embeds aren't working. The take control of Devon Think three books, stuff like that. So I can zoom. Uh, let's go over to a not so busy section and check out uh, gravel bike. I, so you can move things around. I pull the whole node way over. No, it kind of springs back. The whole thing moves. I don't know if I like that, but that's what it does. Uh, and I think you get into stuff like, I right, think this is why I want filtering eventually, um, which we'll see, but like, how do you tell in here what is useful? Cause it's such a busy mess. So I can say range, great links to all these other things. I can see it links to tipping point over here, but I hit the tipping point and it links to quiet. So those are some things, but I'd love to right underneath. I have this big Chilliwack route right here, which is a hiking thing around the lake, around the lake around here. You don't actually care about it, but it's hard to see some of these connections underneath because they overlap um, and they don't actually go with each other, right? Like this doesn't link to anything else except for my daily notes, which are kind of spread all around there. Anyway, let's go back to see what we got. It is in uh, 0.6.3. Done. Uh, graph, you got some love. It should be easier. It's zoomable. Perfect. You can drag things around. I just hope we can do more than that eventually. Uh, you can choose where a file is created. And that kind of goes with, you're going to see there also down here, new UI for settings, plugin, community themes, and you can now turn on back off the always update link setting if you want, and they broke some other stuff, or they fixed some things they broke. So let's look at that. Look at the file UI, so that's command comma in uh, Mac, or you can actually just access it right down here, settings. Uh, so we just have an overall UI layout difference, right? You can see down here we have the plugins, community themes, daily notes, plugin, uh, and I've already set this before. This was an earlier thing where I can set my date format, uh, what folder it goes in. That's a daily folder, which you can see kind of ghosted out back here and the daily template, which is template.md, uh, plugins. This is again, just the plugins, just a UI update. Now, one of the bugs I had, I'll try this in hotkeys. I had mentioned earlier, if we go really small, oh, look at that. So I had mentioned these actually fell off, uh, the gray box here. So I'd mentioned that earlier and that's fixed. Perfect. Another bug fixed. Uh, appearance, right? You can choose your two themes. This help. We can install the docs. I actually just deleted those because it was getting annoying for reasons. Because I had a whole bunch of orphan notes. Uh, about is in there. Activate commercial license. I have a private license. The account. Oh, there's an account. Well, I guess I could sign into my account, which I won't do. Let's do that right now. Let's do that live. Let's go to Curtis. At Curtis. That's not my email. Let's see. Go to one password. And go to Obsidian F P 
payment account, copy, paste, and login. Login failed, so I gotta check that anyways. Uh, I did buy my account or purchase, make my purchase earlier. Uh, community themes. So this is where we can install community themes. I actually really like this one here and I can use it. And this is, I think he's neon is cool. That's really it. It's not a lot, not a lot. That graph view would have been a big change. I like that. Uh, I like that we're seeing in more advancement, more advancement. That's awesome. And that's it. There's really not much else besides that. And the orphan node should be, let's see, we can even maybe check chat. Maybe they fixed it already because they said they got the links, but not the embeds. No, oh, I opened Obsidian. That's not going to help you, is it at all? Discord. Obsidian Discord. And did they say they fixed it already? Let's find out. It doesn't look like it. They did say... If you want to, but he's fixing it right now. So I, whether I should submit a bug or not, he said he's fixing it right now. So that's it. If you like the video, you can uh, give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe. And if you really loved it, you can go to patreon.com slash Curtis McHale and support the channel. Make sure things keep coming. Have an excellent day.